SABC News, independent and impartial. From an African perspective. It's 5.19 Central African time and you're listening to Africa Rise and Shine. The Zambian government has set a target to launch its own satellite in the next two years in order to have timely data to help in decision making. Interestingly, another private entity that is already registered with the Nation Aeronautics and Space Administration and other authorities has a similar target as the one of the Zambian government as it plans are well advanced with locals taking lead in the first ever satellite project in the southern African country. Arthur Davis Sokobo reports from Lusaka. Zambia has set a two-year target to launch its own satellite in the space for the country to have timely data and help in the decision-making process. Zambia's Minister of Technology and Science, Felix Mutati, says the country is currently borrowing critical information from other satellites, which limits its access to data. According to Mr. Mutati, as a result of waiting for data from other satellites to inform what is obtaining, certain disasters which could be avoided were not prevented. The Zambian minister, hence, pronounces that the country will in the next two years launch its own satellite in the space that will help in determining various factors like rainfall, wind, climatic changes, and further help in agriculture and prediction of weather changes. With satellite to be able to address our challenges in agriculture, our, our land use, even health. So it, it will keep put the country at a different uh, pace. So we'll pronounce ourselves that the next venture for Zambia in the space of science is to launch a satellite using the knowledge and capabilities of the scientific brains of Zambia. And that is the only way we can, in real time, deal with the challenges of climate change. Anything else is a disaster. This news has cheered many in the country, including natural scientists and environmentalist Kagosi Mamulowe, based in Lusaka. Mr. Mamulowe, who is Environmental Communications Center Board Vice Chairperson, says, indeed, it is a matter of time that Zambia stepped up to that level of technology. We will reduce on the cost of, you know, maybe getting that information from other stations. But at the same time, it will be very, I mean, easy for us to get that information and also project, I mean, the future. We will be assured of, you know, effectively protecting our environment. As it is, since we are, borrow, I mean, we are using borrowed technology, anything can happen. What if the owners of the technology say no? The natural scientist, Mr. Mamulowe, who is also principal consultant at Inveral Dynamics, further adds that the country is poised greatly to benefit agriculture-wise. Our environment in terms of soil capabilities is going to be improved. So that will even feed positively into the agricultural sector where at the end of the day we are going to have what we call precise or smart agriculture. Another environmentalist, Noah Olekezo, has this to say. We'll be seeing, the, especially on um, the thing that we are ahead, if there will be floods, uh, the rain pattern, how the rains will, will fall, if there will be no rains and the like. As environmentalists, we are also able to uh, to see and communicate with um, uh, the community on the ground about how the, the situation will be uh, in the near future. As the Zambian government is planning to launch its satellite, the country also has a leading private entity called Ignitos Logistics Zambia that has well advanced in satellite technology. Founder and chairman of Ignitos Logistics, Siddharth Pama, tells SABC's Channel Africa that his satellite would be based on four pillars that are agriculture, climate change, disaster management and mitigation, and water resources management. We have developed a space, the first phase company in Zambia. We are in the process, in the pre-commercialization phase, and we are doing research and development of what is needed on an actual satellite that will be launched into space from Zambia. We are building our, our platform, our machine learning platform, which will use artificial intelligence from the Earth observation data, that, which then will be translated into <clears throat> usable data that is used to drive growth in the economy. Mr. Palmer says being registered and recognized by international and regional regulators such as NASA predicts to launch their satellite before 
or by 2023. It takes about 18 months to design develop. Then you are looking at further development time. That's why it's 2023. That's a conservative figure. But if I can launch by next year, I'll also launch by next year. He says this will help the country in many ways to attain economic development. Mitigating risks for the farmers, mitigating risks for the people in environmental process. We're in a big issue of deforestation in Zambia. We're number one in Africa and number five in the world in deforestation. And that is an alarming risk. Now, we have to provide this data to the government so that we can put and put measures for the future generation. We can't be destroying our forests like this. There are many, many national level issues that need to be addressed. And this is why Ignite Your Space is the driver of this technology. From these developments, Zambia can be said moving in the right direction with regards to technology advancement, which stakeholders are uploading. Reporting for SABC's Channel Africa in Lusaka, Zambia, I'm Arthur Davis, Skopo. The World Antibiotic Week Awareness is marked from every year on the 18th to the 24th of November to raise awareness on the dangers of the inappropriate use of antibiotics. The pharmacy group Dischem is urging medical professionals and patients to be responsible about antibiotic consumption, warning that we are fast closing in on a scenario.